200 feet per second, 12 miles from the runway. And, and there it is, passing uh, over Victor. much of California, passing north of San Francisco, passing on a new orbit coming from north to south Columbia for the first time down over California towards Edwards feet. Air Force Base in California. With me here in New York is Gene Cernan, the Apollo astronaut. Gene, that is, uh, that's a shot I haven't seen before. It looks terrifically close. Well, it looks a beautiful report. sight. Uh, uh, very good coming around she did come down from the north because we delayed the landing, and uh, she was in a very, very high orbit on this particular flight, which uh, allowed us to have a couple extra chances to land at Edward in the case of, uh, of a malfunction we had earlier today. Of course, that malfunction degrees. has been overcome by the use of uh, backup computers and backup navigation instrumentation. She now is uh, on her final. It's John Young. She's on her final approach right now. Winds are calm. And as everybody, of course, knows now, uh, at this point and for some time now, Columbia has been gliding. She's going to land on that longest runway at Edwards Air Force Base, four miles long, where the weather is perfect and there are hardly any winds. And because she's carrying a tremendous load, Columbia by herself weighs about 100 tons, and there are 16 tons extra, of course, of space lab. With me also is ABC's Lynn Schur. Columbia and you said earlier in the broadcast this has been a terrific mission, but how does it look to you as a landing? <laughs> I don't think it could look any better from here, Peter. Uh, I think we should note, though, when you hear John Young, the commander, speaking, there's a man that's been up more than 18 hours. He expected to land it about uh, uh, eight hours ago, and he is now doing the landing. He is probably one very tired commander. But, you know, we might remember probably the most experienced astronaut in the program is John's sixth flight, and I think he'd be well satisfied in... Uh, as, as Columbia touches down on this one, he's contributed a great deal. Still in manual flight space control mode. More than Manager anybody John else. Let's John, listen uh, to mission control. Going into the uh, flare. Gear coming down. That's a good sign. Gear down. And locked. Touchdown, unofficial touchdown time for the main gear, uh, 10 07 47 23. Nose gear coming down. And gear contact. Nose down at 10 07 47 41. And STS 9 is home from the longest shuttle mission to date. Eleven days they've been in space, one day longer than uh, had originally been planned. Part was going well, performed more than 70 experiments on board, lost some of them because of some equipment failures. But as Lynch here told us in that report earlier in the broadcast, uh, they discovered an enormous uh, number of things on this mission. And this is the first mission of the European Space Lab, a billion dollar package sent into space by NASA on this space shuttle, which is uh, doing it so well now, particularly under the command today of John Young, the pilot's pilot. The perfect landing is no longer a surprise. Columbia home, and all is well. This evening, well, they did it all right again, and the space shuttle Columbia, with its European space lab, landed safely at Edwards Air Force Base in California. The landing went perfectly, the Columbia touching down shortly before sunset in California time. The weather was perfect. There were hardly any winds at all. Commander John Young man who's been in space more times than anybody else was at the controls. Beautiful day out in Edwards Air Force Base. There were times when NASA people would actually like to practice with some crosswinds, but there weren't any winds at all, and they landed on that long, long runway, four miles at Edwards Air Force Base because it is not only the 100 tons of Columbia, which has just touched down there, but the 16 tons extra of Space Lab, this $1 billion Space Lab that the Europeans have put into space, and that is the live picture at Edwards Air Force Base. At the moment, the crew still inside. Those are the tiles on the outside, which have resisted, performed like everything else, practically perfectly once again.